Hello, everybody. Andrea here. So let's talk about the quality assurance test. Okay, so if you're a dental hygienist in Ontario and have been audited, you do need to take a quality assurance test or you need to submit your online portfolio. In both cases, you do need to fill out a practice profile. The practice profile used to be called the typical day, and that is that those several pages, but that's that area where you have to put in and fill out the like check marks of what you do in your dental practice. I have another video talking about the practice profile, so I won't talk about that too much, but just so you know, whether you take the test, your quality assurance test, or the online portfolio, you do need to submit your practice profile. A side note, I do offer a course for all of those. So I do teach an online portfolio workshop. I'll leave the links for you guys on the bottom. I do offer a quality assurance test um, course. So a full study guide for if you're taking the test, you probably don't know what to study for. I help you with that. But I also offer practice profile um, help. So I will actually um, re um, review it for you and let you know if you need to make any changes or if I feel, okay, you had answered no to these questions, you will, the CDHO isn't going to like that. You need to change this in your practice before you submit it. So I do offer help with that. But let's talk about the quality assurance practice test and how do you study for that. So I do have a course for it, you guys, because you basically have to study for it, not like you're taking the dental hygiene board exam. So don't think about those days. You don't have to study it that much in depth, but you do have to know a little bit about everything. Just because you've been a dental hygienist for a number of years, as silly as it sounds, you probably don't know what they want you to know for the quality assurance test. They ask a lot about infection control. They ask a lot about sterilization. COVID protocols, you guys, aren't necessarily on the exam because they write that exam and then they update it every year or every couple of years. So this exam wasn't written this year. It was probably written late last year or early this year. COVID protocols are not on it. Per the CDHO, I have asked maybe in, you know, early next year, they will be on it, but it's not now. But you know what? It doesn't really matter because our infection control hasn't really changed. Our PPE has changed, but infection control has not. Think about internal indicators. Think about external indicators. Think about biological indicators, spore tests. You need a process challenging device. Um, now they're saying regardless of what sterilizer you have, it might be a different processing challenging device, but you still need one. You need to know how to package instruments. You need to know about temperatures. You need to know about shocking the system, talking about water levels. You need to know how many minutes you're supposed to wait in between. You need to know how long you're supposed to do it for. All those things, I help you with that. And all of that helps with your practice profile as well, because if the CDHO doesn't like your practice profile, it doesn't matter if you pass your test or your exam, I should say, they're still going to call you and everybody hates that dreaded phone call. I help you with that phone call as well. I tell you what to expect and how to go through it. Cause I've been through the whole shebang, you guys. I've been through everything. I've even had the on-site audit that I'm going to help you guys with that too. In case that happens to you, it's a lot scarier than it sounds. But for your quality assurance test, you need to study for it. A lot of RDHs, a lot of dental hygienists email me and say that they failed because they didn't realize how hard it was. So then they contact me after they failed the first time and say, ah, oh, I need your help. What do I study? How about you just sign up for my course now so you don't have to stress about failing? I will help you pass, okay? I've had other hygienists who send me, me an email and saying that test was the easiest thing ever, that they didn't even feel like they needed any tutoring or any study, you know, course. Everybody's different, but why take that chance? I'll leave the course info for you guys on the bottom. It's $120, depending on when you're watching the video. It might be more depending on when you're watching this, but it's not expensive. It's not a $500 course. It's all online. You learn at your own pace, and I'm here to help you guys. If you take the course and you do not pass, you have full access to that course until you do pass. You have full access to me to help you until you do pass. 
but follow the rules, follow the modules, study appropriately. You know, studying half an hour every day is not going to cut it. Studying three days before you take the exam isn't going to cut it. Give yourself a couple months if you can. If you're watching the video and you're saying to yourself, oh my God, I'm taking this exam in a month. Hey, sign up for the course now. It just means you will be studying a lot, but you'll know that you have a direction to your studying. You know that your studying will be worth it because you know what to study and how to study. There's nothing worse than just looking through your notes from school how many years ago or purchasing a textbook that you really don't need. Trying to study from a textbook is impossible and you don't wanna do it. Study, let me help you guys with my course. I have all the modules laid out for you. In fact, I apologize. The whole point of this was I was going to show you what the modules look like and I almost forgot. So I'm gonna share my screen right now. This is the quality assurance course and I'm gonna leave the link for you guys on the bottom, okay? So it's $120. You know, I don't consider that too much. It was a lot of time to develop this course. I even have a video showing you guys what's inside. Can I make this bigger? Ah, there we go. So this is a video. I turned the sound off for you. Um, did I pause? It? Sorry, guys. Um, so this is the video. I'm just going to leave it up while I'm talking so you guys can see. So notice the left hand side. These are all of the modules. If you scroll down, this is a video, so I can't scroll down right now, but there's so much more there. But the best thing to do is to go through everything one by one, study everything, and you will pass this quality assurance exam. You have three tries to pass, but let's not, you know, fail three times, okay? I want you guys to pass the first time. Signing up for this course will give you that confidence to know that you're, you are studying what you need to study and how to study to pass the first time because nobody wants to fail, right? Okay, I was kind of hoping, did I show you guys more of the left-hand side in this video? Maybe I'll have to do another video. So yeah, so I do go through um, all of them and you get full access to everything right away. So once you sign up, you will be sent an email of how to log in. Your username is your email address. So type in your email address correctly and you would assign yourself a password so you can log in anytime. You can click everything and then another page shows up here for you to download the files to your computer. These are either PowerPoint or PDF files. So you do need to download them to your computer. You can read them on the screen typically, but sometimes it gets chopped off. If you're trying to open, say, a PDF file in a PowerPoint or a PowerPoint in a PDF program, it does need the proper program to open up. But that's very, very simple. You guys just download them. And then usually when you click the download, it will guide you to where to open it like it's pretty simple but if you guys have any questions let me know so yeah so now i'm starting to scroll this is it has everything so notice it's not a short course there's a lot of files in this course that's why i like to give people i tell them to, to study for at least a month if you have longer than that that's perfect so i'll leave the link for you guys on the bottom i am here to help you i know how stressful it is if you have been um signed up for your on-site audit, I do help with that as well. If you prefer to do your portfolio, I help with that as well. So there's no stress. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked the video. Click like if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next one.